article, you'll learn how to create blog post articles with the PageFly Shopify app. You'll learn how to create blog posts with PageFly and see the results in your Shopify store. So let's get started. Every newly created blog post will be placed in a specific blog category. In our example, it's been placed in the News category. With the PageFly app, you can take full control of the blog post article layout. When building a blog post, please keep in mind that the headers and footers are not related to PageFly and are instead controlled by your Shopify theme settings. Now, let's create a new blog post with PageFly. Please navigate to the Page List dashboard and click on the plus icon. You'll see the option to create a blog post. Let's click on it. A new tab will be opened within the PageFly Editor dashboard. Please click on the Page Settings. You'll find the General and Website SEO tabs. The General settings allow you to control the header and footer of the page display. You can upload the featured image for your blog post and select the author, blog category, and tags. Once you click on the Website SEO tab, you can see the page title and SEO meta description, which can be configured here. Moving forward, let's build the content layout for this blog post. From the left sidebar, click on the rectangle icon, then find the layout element. Drag and drop it to the dashboard. In our case, we're using the layout element with the variation 2 thirds and 1 third. We'll assume that the main content part will take up two-thirds of the page layout and one-third for the promotion banners. Let's fill in the main section and then the right blog page area. We'll use the heading, paragraph, image, and button elements. We're going to speed up the process in this video recording so we can move forward to the next step. When you finish building the content, please hit the Save button. If you want to publish the page right away and sync it with your Shopify store, then click on the Save and Publish button. Now, let's look at a preview of our blog post page. Please click on the View button and then select the Live Page option. You'll see a new tab is opened within our blog post page. That's the layout of our blog post. In our example, we wanted to showcase the best-selling sock items for 2018. We've included some paragraph content, an image, and a CTA, or call to action. So when the user clicks on the button, they'll be redirected to the product page. Next, what if you already created the page with the PageFly app and want to make that page a blog post? In that case, let's return back to the page list dashboard and practice with one of our sample pages. Find the page that you want to change into a blog post and then click on the settings icon. You'll see the new modal window has opened. Please select the blog post page type. The options with the blog settings will be displayed. Configure the settings you need and then click on the save button. After that, you should see the page you've selected with the page type blog post. Click on the Preview button with the Eyes icon. This will show you the live page URL of that blog post. Here it is. If you look at the URL of that blog post type, you'll see that it's under the Blogs category. If you want to remove that blog post, please change the page type to Regular and then delete it. Inside the page list, you can also unpublish the blog post. Let's check our unpublished blog post status by refreshing the page. You'll see the page 404 not found. That's the end of this tutorial, so thanks for watching. If you need any help, feel free to drop us an email at happytohelp at sellersmith.com or click on the chat icon inside the PageFly app.